Hi, I'm Tash from Heart and Design. Here on my channel, I hope to provide a safe space for everyone to learn art no matter what stage you're at, be beginner or more experienced. Thank you so much for clicking through. I just really appreciate you. Appreciate that. Uh, welcome to the Heart Tribe. Please subscribe, like, comment or share if you haven't already. Pull beginner drawing. I'm currently erasing what I've done on a surface level with a kneadable eraser. So it's watercolour paper that you need, a pencil to draw the drawing, which you will do if you watch my video and have the download, and then the kneadable eraser so that you can rub out the top layer. Watercolours are just very, very transparent. So if your drawing is too dark, too deep, it will shine through underneath the paint, and you don't really want it to do that. So I'm going to start with, I think, the trunk of the tree so i'm trying to find a nice brown that didn't lift up any paint then let's try that again it's a very dark brown but i have got lots of water on my brush so let's see what happens yeah love that there we go so you can have like a really dark colors but with watercolor you can almost make them a completely different shade by the amount of water you add you don't have to mix it with anything else, just water it down. Okay, I'm not worrying too much where the lines are because we are going to come in and illustrate over the top again with it, with pen at the end. Now this is going to be a really nice quick one. Once you've drawn it, I think the drawing is actually the harder bit on this um, project than the others it tended to be oh, excuse me it tended to be the painting that was harder on some of them rather than drawing but it's the other way around this time okay that shows that it's time to stop to, for today <laughs> right i'm going in now with some green straight from my block of watercolors you can get them in tubes or watercolor pencils um do i like that green not so much so let's try a different green and that's what I like about watercolours. As long as you change it quickly, it's really easy to do. Now we're going to need at least two different colours of green. If you look at the picture, there's three, but two will do it. As long as you're using the colours not next to each other. So I'm going to use that same green down here, that nice light shade. I'm going to just get a bit more. There we go. So that can be down there. So I'm going to do that in there as well, I think, behind. That's nice. Okay, and then let's try this green over here for this one. Here's a, like a darker green. Nice. I like that one. Very nice. It's kind of got a rich colour to it. Love that. And what I've done is I'm leaving the areas where there are some darker areas than others because it just gives the impression of depth and it gives the impression of 3D-ness. The thing I like about watercolours is when it comes to things like that, it does the work for you. <laughs> you can just like put your brush down, let it go anywhere you want and yeah, pretty much the 3D-ness is done. As long as you've got varying degrees of dark and lights and value, it will do it for you now I've put too much down there so with a brush I can just lift it off all I need to do dry my brush and keep dabbing it until I've lifted it off and there we are we'll just get back to pushing it around again there we are it's better my brush is a bit dry now so it's gonna be a bit funny there see that how that's changed that really quickly right i'm going to wet my brush down again because i feel as though these these ones here need to have also a bit more of that going on a bit more of that kind of varying values that's better happier now <laughs> it might be a bit much just take a little bit off good and so, of course, we need to do that in the background as well. Otherwise, it will not look right. So now coming to the main part of the tree. 
I am going to go in with a different brown. Let's just make sure it's dry first. Okay, and I'm just, like I said before, I'm just going to let it do what it wants to do and just dapple, dapple it on. I'm not sure what the word is, but I'm dappling. Um, we'll go darker inside because actually, um, don't forget watercolour dries a lot lighter than it is on there, but it really helps when you start to put dark values in. Um, some areas it helps it to make it look now where there is that little knot in there I'm going to darken that up as well so it looks there you can see it's like a tree that's got the light hitting it hasn't it and uh, oh I just love painting don't you just love painting and creating love it spreading the joy that's what I'm doing <laughs> but if you could all sign up for the subscription on my channel on my website rather would really help me to keep spreading the art joy um, so that I can afford to keep doing it for as long as possible. There, I'm going to leave it like that now. Let's just spread some of that down. And we're going to completely dry it and then we'll go over it with a pen. haven't done actually I need to go and do the grass I haven't done the grass so let's crack on and do the grass just realized I've just completely forgotten the whole of the background <laughs> uh, tired it's my last one of the day and um, in fact I'm really enjoying it to be honest so it shows how much and how important it is to enjoy what you're doing in life it's been a long day but I'm absolutely loving it. Right, there we go. So it's darker in the back because it's going further away into the distance and it's lighter in the front because it's newer to us. Okay. And we could actually just bring around, bring that around a bit more around the bottom of the tree so it's almost coming off the page. I might actually, whilst we're here, just spread because up here I feel as though the tree kind of is a bit flat let's just add a bit more on it's better I'm happy now okay so you could just leave it like that you don't really need to add on the liner pen however I like to I think because it's not a painting as such it's more of an illustration I like to illustrate it and bring the lines back in from the drawing so let's get that done. Again, of course, you could continue to add this, add to this one. I always say it on my videos, but you could have the blue sky in the background. You could have flowers under the tree. But for the tutorial purpose, we're just focusing on this one thing. Um, but you could, of course, go further. And you could make it into a painting rather than an illustration. But I'm coming in myself and I'm coming back in with my lines because that's what I like to do when it's uh, an illustration. So this is, yeah, you see it's starting to pop back off the page again. So coming round. That's why I like to do it with illustrations. I don't like it on paintings. I like just to be able to see the paints and the flow of the paint and whatever it's doing. But this is not that situation. We're learning to draw and now we're just playing around with colouring in the drawings that we've learned to draw. And again, my downloadable learn to draw sheets are available on my website, heartanddesign.org.uk. And you can learn how to put this drawing down yourself in a step-by-step -step process that I use on all of my sheets. 
really simple and you can subscribe monthly to all my sheets for a really really small amount and certainly it will give you something to do over the winter but also give you things to do that you can take out and do um yeah so we're done so again just add to it as much as you want i hope you enjoyed that i really enjoyed it it's my final one of the day i hope everyone's had a great day everybody and hopefully you can come along on the next one